It's only Okay, so this is 27, and we have side side angle, side side angle not included. So we need to we need to check for second triangle. Okay. Yes. Is there a reason that you change the position of the angle? You don't have to. I I I don't I didn't realize I did. It doesn't matter where you put them. You just put them on the triangle. All right, so again, we have to do the sine of the 58 is to 11.4 as the sine of angle B is to 12.8. So we multiply the 12.8 over. We get the sine of angle B is 12.8 times the sine of 58 all over 11.4. And then just like yesterday, we're doing everything the same. Angle B is going to be the inverse sine of this thing on my calculator. Okay, now DMS this thing when you're done. We're gonna DMS that because we're rounding these to the nearest minute on the test. That's how it's always been on the test. Is to the nearest minute on angle. What does that come out to be? You all ought to be practicing this and making sure you're all getting the same stuff. Yesterday in my second class, I had a kid type it in wrong. He got the wrong answer. Nobody said anything for 10 minutes. Got it? 73 degrees. 72 degrees. Did you say 15 minutes? 13 minutes. Okay, there's my first angle B. Now I'm going to find angle C1. What are you always going to do to find the third angle? 180 minus the two you have. So we're going to take on your calculator 180 minus the 58 minus, and you're going to hit second negative sign to get answer, and then you're going to DMS this one. So will someone please tell me what the angle C1 is? I want that's the nearest minute. You say 49 or 45? 49. Okay, 49 degrees, 47 minutes. There's my angle C. Now you're not going to you're going to use the calculator again, but don't, you're going to use this answer that's not rounded. And then we want little C1 is to the sine of that 49 degrees, 47 minutes. But we're going to use the rest of it. And we're going to use the one given to us, the 11.4 is to sine of 58. Now we're not going to hit second because we're looking for a side. So little c1 is going to be 11.4 times the sine of that angle you got on your calculator. Not rounded, don't use the rounded one, use the whole decimal divided by the sine of 58. And what is side c1 going to be to three decimals? Somebody get it to me. This should be the mm, smallest side, right? Because 58 or 72 is the biggest angle. So 12.8 is the biggest side. 58 is bigger than that. So this is the middle one. And then this should be the smallest one. What is C1? 10.189? All right. So the first triangle is done. That one's done. We have it in stone. Did anybody get anything different, by the way? I hope you got something different. Did you use the rounded answer? Did you? What did you get? Okay, so do you see that he used the rounded answer? That's why it's off. Don't use the rounded answer. This should be 2.65 or 0 0.265. 0.265. Okay. So see that? That was different. That's why you don't want to use rounded answers. You want to use that whole decimal that's on your calculator. Okay. Now we want to check for a second triangle. 
So I want to find out, hey, is there another B that could work? What do I do to the first B? And we always use the first angle. Whatever first angle you find that isn't always B, it can be any other letter, but B is the first angle. So we're going to use this. What, could, what do I do to find a possible second angle? I find the supplement. I find the supplement of that angle. So I take 180 minus that, which if I do 180 minus that, I think I get 101 degrees and uh, 47 minutes. Did I get that right? You know what you guys get? Okay, there's my possible angle B2. What? Wait a minute, 107. It's 107, 47, right? Okay. So that's possible angle B2. Now, what do I do to see if it works? What do I do with this second angle? I add the given angle they gave me, 58. When I add those two together, I get this. What is that compared to 180? Less than. Is there a second triangle? Yes. There is. There's a second triangle. Okay, so I am now going to find angle C2. Now the angle A2, the angle A is given to you up there. It's 58. This was given. You already know this one. It's already given. That's my second one. So we're going to take 180, because the three angles add up to 180, minus that number I just got on my calculator because that's these two put together, and I probably shouldn't put a box around this one because this one's given to us. We're going to take 180 minus these two, this angle and the given angle, which was that number I found right there. And when I subtract those two, I get, I think it's 14 degrees, 13 minutes. Is that right? Did I subtract that right? I think that's right. My calculator work or not? 180 minus those two added together. Is that correct? Okay. Now I got one more. That so I've got my B2, I got my C2, and so now I gotta get my little C2. So I'm gonna set it up like this up here. So my little C2, my side C2 is going to be to the sine of 14 degrees, 13 minutes, as again I use my given one, 11.4 is to the sine of 58. So little c2 is going to be 11.4 times the sine of 14 degrees, 13 minutes, all divided by the sine of 58. So c2, will someone tell me what that is for three decimals? Should be the smallest. Anybody got it? Eleven point four times the sine of fourteen degrees thirteen minutes divided by sine of fifty eight. What is it? Somebody. It's not zero. Three point what? Three zero. So there's my third and my second C2. So you got the blue triangle that works and the black triangle that works with the information they gave us. And again, the key is after you find the first angle, you find a supplement of it, and then you add that supplement to the given angle. And if that number, which here was 165.47, if that number is less than 180, then you got to find the rest of it. So when you do a problem like this, this problem will be worth uh, the if it's just one triangle, it's worth six points on the test. You get two triangles, it's worth 12 points. So if you miss that, if you miss half the tri uh, triangle, you're going to miss half the points on that problem. 50% is not good enough. Uh, is that hard? Yeah. A little bit, and it's definitely time consuming.
definitely time consuming. I'm going to tell you again, there is for sure one of the triangles you're going to find today that has got two triangles that work on the homework out of the book. What's the only one you got to check with two triangles? Side, side, angle. So all the rest of them, don't worry about it. The rest of them are okay. All right, so 